Okay, in this video, I want to take you through a live demonstration of the first part of the installation of the Cisco Network Assurance Engine. So let's get started. So here I am logged into vCenter and I've picked out an ESX host that has the, the requirements needed to install the Network Assurance Engine. I've also already downloaded the OVA file from cisco.com and I've got it stored locally. So the first step is to go to File and select Deploy OVF Template. As you can see, I've already got the OVA downloaded here. Uh, you would go ahead and click Browse and find out where you've downloaded the OVA and go from there. I'm going to go through the next parts of the wizard pretty quick because it's almost as easy as clicking Next with a couple of small details before we're finished. So let's go through it. We'll click Next. We'll click Next again. The first decision we need to make is the name. Remember that the cluster is made up of three virtual machines, so you're going to want to give them each a unique name. So I'll append a number after the end of the name here uh, and click Next. Uh, I've got the host that I want to install it on. I'll click Next. Um, I've got the uh, storage area, so I need a data store that has sufficient uh, room according to the version of the appliance that you have. So I'll select a data store. Uh, you want to leave it as thick provision lazy zeroed, so we'll leave it as the default. We'll click Next. And then finally, we'll put it on a network where we'll have reachability of the cluster. If you remember, I said we needed three IP addresses for the cluster. This is the network where they, where they will live. Finally, the last bit is I need to enter the actual IP addresses that I've chosen. So I'll go ahead and enter those there. Uh, and these will be unique per uh, appliance in the cluster. And of course, I'll finish off with the default gateway. We'll click Next. You can click Power On after deployment and then finish. Now, I'm going to do this two more times in order to complete my cluster of three. I'm going to fast forward through the video and the next time that you come back, we'll actually have the three OVA files deployed and powered on. After you've deployed all three OVAs, point your web browser to the first IP address in the cluster and this is the page that you will see. We need to enter some final bits of data in order to complete the configuration. So we'll click on Get Started. The first thing that we need to do is set up an administrator profile. So we'll establish an admin account and password and you can see I've already pre-populated some data here for that. The next thing that we need to do is the cluster configuration. As I said, I've pointed my web browser to the first IP address in the cluster, but I need to tell it about its other two cluster members. So I've gone ahead and I've pre-populated the information for the other two virtual machines in the cluster. And you want to go ahead and click test. And when you get the green checkbox, that means that all the cluster members can see each other, which is exactly what you want. The next thing we need to do is input DNS and NTP server information. And there's a short paragraph here about the importance of synchronization and why we recommend an NTP server. And then the final thing we'll have is an SMTP server and port, and then we'll click Submit. What will happen now is that the uh, cluster will go ahead and check reachability to these things, and then it will bring up this page. And it's going to go through a series of steps, which takes about 10 minutes to complete. So I'm going to fast forward the video and then when we come back, we'll see that this process has completed and we can log into the cluster with the admin account that we've just established. Okay, now that that setup process has finished, this is the screen that will automatically show up and we'll go ahead and log in with the admin account that we set up in the step before and we'll sign in. And this is the screen that will be presented after you log in. I'm going to close this video here and in the next video I'm going to take you through the final step of setting up what's called an assurance group and get you started on both offline and online analysis towards your ACI fabric. 